English PH by teacher Jody AA. Topic, determining the worth of ideas to make simple inferences. Today's agenda, be able to understand how to determine the worth of ideas in a speech or a text. Paano mo malalaman ang halaga ng isang pampahayag o ng isang babasahin? First, let's listen to President Duterte's State of the Nation Address, 2020. Until the COVID-19 vaccine is available, I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching or learning unless the risk of exposure to the sickness are eliminated. I cannot and will not put to rest the health and lives of our students and teachers. We young, about two weeks ago, I, 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 I seem to have said that uh, uh, I would allow the face-to-face -face, uh, classes to resume. But we were talking actually of January. Because my thinking is that uh, by September, we would have the vaccine. How to get it from the producers or from other governments is really something which uh, we have to deal with because everyone, the, 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 it's, it's a global need and everyone will go for it. After hearing the speech for the first time, were you able to understand it? Why or why not? How is the message being delivered by the speaker? Why do you think the message is important to you as a student? What are some ways you can do to share the knowledge or the information you gain from the speech? Tapos mong mapakinggan ang talumpati ng Pangulong Duterte, Ano ang iyong mga naunawaan dito? Naunawaan mo nga ba ito? Paano niya tinalakay ang kanyang paksa? Bakit mahalaga sa isang mag-aaral na katulad mo ang malaman ang kanyang mensahe? At paano mo maibabahagi ang iyong mga natutunan sa kanyang talumpati? Now, let's look at learning task number three. Here are the guide questions. First, we will use the CASTS or CAST technique for you det to determine the worth of ideas. Guide questions are, what is the context, location, or time of the speech? Who is the intended audience? Who is the speaker? What tone or mood is expressed on the speech? How will you summarize the speech? On this learning task, 
use the guide questions to complete the CAST's method. For the context, it should answer the questions when and where. Kailan at saan naganap ang kanyang talumpati? For the audience, sino ang dapat na makinig? Sino ang mga tagapakinig? Anong edad mayroon sila? Ito ba ay mga kabataan? Mga may sapat na gulang? Anong grupo ng lipunan sila kabilang? Mga magulang ba o mga mag-aaral? For the speaker, who is the one delivering the speech? Sino ang tagapagsalita? Tone and mood. What words are used by the speaker that made you feel the emotions portrayed in the speech? It should answer the question, what? Paano niya tinalakay ang kanyang paksa? Ito ba ay masaya, formal, o casual? Nagbanggit ba siya ng mga salita upang maramdaman mo ang kanyang mensahe? Isulat ang mga keyword tungkol dito. Summary, ano ang pinaka paksang diwa ng kanyang talumpati? It should answer the question, what? You may go back to our video lesson about summarizing to give you a review on how to summarize an article or a text or a speech. Here is a sample answer for learning task number 3. For the context, the speaker is inside the Senate building of the Philippines. The audience, these are some government officials. Who else? For the speaker, identify who is the speaker. Sino bang nagsasalita doon? Tone and mood. It is formal and informative. What else? Mention some keywords that sets the tone of the speech. For the summary, here is a part of the summary. The president stated his stand about face-to-face -face or modular classes. You may add his basis. You must cite evidences based on the current news. For learning task 4, you may now apply what you have learned from the previous activities. Listen to the speech given by Secretary Leonor Briones for the World No Tobacco Day 2020. Then complete the table following the CAST method provided on your activity sheet. You can access the video on the link given below and on the comment box. Subscribe for more video lessons in English. Thank you for watching. Enjoy learning. See you.